guys, um, I just kind of wanted to say that, like, um, I kind of drifted off way too much into, like, audio stuff on this channel. So I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'm going to, like, make it for members only, a lot of the audio videos that I've made. So if you want to watch those videos, you can watch it on members only. Because a lot of you guys, you know, you, you, you come onto this channel to watch ASMR videos. And I've been making a lot of audio videos, you know, like glamorizing these microphones, glamorizing these headphones that are 250 ohm, 250 ohm. That means that you kind of need like a good amp, like what's on a Motu M2, the headphone jack on the Motu M2 um, can power the Biodynamic DT990s. Um, they even sound pretty good. They sound about the same to me, to be honest, through my motherboard, which is a ROG Strix Z390E gaming motherboard. Okay, so if you look into like the performance specifications for that motherboard, it actually apparently has a good amp headphone jack um, that's designed to power, you know, headphones like the Biodynamic DT990 250 ohm. But I have given people these types of headphones before as a gift. And they'll do things like plug them into a TV like a normal person would. And honestly, they sound worse than like a $7 headphone through a TV headphone jack. So, um, you know, me glamorizing some of this equipment and people not knowing how to actually use them appropriately, not the best idea. Um, again, I have this huge gamer setup and stuff, and I know a lot of people, um, you know, they may just have like a laptop or a tablet or even just a phone for all of their computing needs. You know, they're not, they're not dedicated to like a big gaming battle station rig with, you know, all this studio equipment like I have, and I kind of forget that sometimes. So sometimes even people who are big into audio do not have, like, everything they need to use this equipment that I'm using. But this is not that expensive, the Motum 2. You can connect the microphones, the headphones, into this and um, get a lot of work done if you want to be doing these types of videos. You need even more equipment, but, you know, that's, like, for that, for that, you know, you know, that's what you use to power the headphones, the microphones. It's, like, 200-something dollars or something. So, yeah, there, there are headphones that will be much better for, like, connecting to a TV and stuff. I think that's maybe the reason why a lot of people like the M50X headphones. They're very easy to drive, even though they don't sound as good. Um, but like me recommending a lot, a lot of this equipment, talking about it, and I, I kind of forget that sometimes normal people will go out and buy it and, you know, they won't have the equipment to use it correctly. And also, if you don't like them after like a couple of days of use, they don't change in sound that much. You know, there's a, a burned in, like worn pad measurement, a fresh pad measurement. So out of the box, they are a bit fatiguing, but like, if you don't like them after a couple of days, they're not gonna change that much. Um, they, they do change after the first couple of days. You know, the pads kind of compress a little bit and the headphones change in sound a little bit, you know, and after like, you know, six months to a year, they really start to change in sound. In my opinion, they sound their best, you know, from like a couple of weeks after you get new pads to like, 
you know, six months. So you got like a six months window. They sound their best, you know. And then they start to sound a little bit funky. Um, the high mids kind of scoop down too much around 3K. And it starts to sound a little bit fun. They start to sound a little bit funky. So, you know, you got like a good six months of like constant use out of them. Maybe eight months. Um, but, you know, after the pads start to get to really start to, you know, get flat and worn, you should probably buy some new pads. Um, so, you know, you got like a year. I mean, at, at tops, some people, some people will just ride them out until they're deteriorating for like years. Um, they'll even wash them, which I do not recommend. Because when I washed the pads one time, they sounded terrible after that. Um, I decided to get a little bit drunk to make this video. It's a, like a last last minute decision. Anyways, um, like I said, I'm going to make the audio videos members only. And somebody recommended that I make different types of videos, which I've been kind of talking about, like something that I want to do. Um, again, the audio equipment stuff, it's not that complicated, but like, I know a lot of people want to connect these headphones to, you know, just any headphone jack they can find, be it on a TV or some portable device, and it may not sound very good at all, and some $7 headphones may actually end up sounding better on those devices if you just connect it directly into it so you know I kind of forget that that a lot of people don't have these big gamer streamer setups if you're one of those people who do if you've got a gaming chair if you got a gaming chair if you got a gaming battle station then buying one of these um and um you'll be all set but like I, I know a lot of people do not have the things that I do here, um, and I admire that. You probably shouldn't get like this big gaming PC set up like I do, but a lot of people like to, to get stuff like this. Um, I, I, I've seen people who are just like, they just, they just want to get like an iMac desktop computer, uh, a PC gaming rig, and they put, you know, the, the Apple computer and the Windows computer right next to each other. And, you know, so they have like a streamer gamer set up and then they have their their Apple computer set up. Because, you know, everybody wants to have like that that Apple computer just to, to mess around with. And then the streamer gamer set up. And I've seen women actually go out and buy a complete setup like that. You know, they got the iMac, they got the Windows Gamer Battle Battle Station PC. Um, you know, it's a, it's a it's a trendy thing to do. It looks cool. Um, and then they never use it because they have a life and they go out and, you know, they work. Um, and they never use it really for its intended purpose of like streaming gameplay for hours on end because you know, they're too busy having a good time in life instead of being a nerd playing video games. So, you know, these are, these are studio, these are legitimate studio headphones for like music producers and people who have recording setups. They're not really for people to just plug into a consumer TV or device. Um... They will not sound that good doing that. Um, but like I said, even like this motherboard can power it. But like some TVs are just, you know, they don't th they don't care about, you know, this kind of stuff. So the, the headphone jack on a lot of TVs is not going to work very good. Or some other devices where they expect people to be connecting, um, you know, 
more consumer friendly equipment into it um, so again this is not like that intense but like for your average person telling them that they have to buy a audio interface or a dedicated amp or some crazy stuff like that um just to be able to use these um yeah um so i really do need to you know make a decision am i gonna you know make an asmr channel or some crazy you know channel where I'm, you know, dealing with people who have studio equipment. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I will be making a lot of these audio videos members only um, because I do not want people to be going out and buying some of this stuff and not having the equipment ne needed or the reason to even own this stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, I think that's all I wanted to say. Well, we're, only, we're 11 minutes in. We're 11 minutes in. I'm a little drunk. So, um, I may start making gaming videos. But when it comes to, like, talking about this quote-quote studio equipment, I'm probably going to make it members only. You know, when I'm, like, any, any tutorials or measurement analysis or opinions... Um, I'll probably make it members only, so if, like, you want to be a member of the channel and kind of get, like, a deeper understanding of some of this equipment. Um, but, you know, for your average viewer, you know, most people do not own this stuff. They, they have no desire to own a lot of this equipment. They just want to watch YouTube videos. So yeah. That's really all I wanted to say. Sometimes I forget that like a lot of the people watching these videos do not have the same priorities. And honestly, I'm kind of drifting away from a lot of this stuff. And I kind of almost want to like you know, shrink down a lot of this this equipment. Um because honestly, I admire people who do not have like a big gamer setup and stuff like that. Like, most people do not have the time for this stuff, you know. And um, I don't know how much more time I'm going to have to be, you know, dappling with all of this stuff all the time. So, and again, it attracts a lot of nerds, a lot of people that like I don't care about, you know, watching these videos. I made the ASMR channel because I, you know, I wanted a particular audience um, of, of normal people, you know, not nerds and people who dwell in consumer products, um, namely audio especially. I don't like those communities. They're terrible. Um, I don't like a lot of communities that just obsess over stupid stuff like equipment, um, like this keyboard. Clicky keyboards are for nibs. Yes, yes they are, Billy. Yes they are. Go get your silver speed linear switches. You dork. You dork. You dork, you dork, you dork. You dork, you dork. So, like I said, um, I will be trying to make a lot of these audio equipment videos members only um, because I do want to start focusing on other things um, and even gaming, even gaming I will probably um, especially play games that maybe that are really popular that I'm not addicted to because um, yeah maybe like I'll do a couple of playthroughs or something I don't We'll see. We'll see. But, um, definitely. So I'm going to have this video for a bit, and then I'm going to make it members only, probably. Along with the other audio equipment videos. Um, so, I know a lot of you guys 
are getting tired of hearing about, you know, this stuff. Um, I still may make it members. I don't think there's going to be that many members for this channel. So it's going to make me not really motivated to make videos for just members only. You know, if it's only like a couple of people. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later. I just wanted to make this video because I kind of forget that my current audience does not have a bunch of equipment to be using studio headphones that require a amp that's a little bit better than what's on consumer products. So anyway, I will see you guys later.